just at six. Flames devour about 10 acres of land in Charlestown today. The brush fire was deep in the woods, and at one point, it forced Amtrak to stop train service. Good evening, I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Jean Valicenti. It took crew some time to get there. NBC 10 Sam Reed is about as close as she can get tonight. Sam? here tonight than it was just a few hours earlier when roughly 50 firefighters from surrounding towns rushed here to fight this huge big brush fire that actually was happening about a mile behind me deep into the woods right near the Amtrak lines. Probably started in the vicinity of along the railroad tracks or Amtrak and um, I had the impression that it might have come from a report from a passing train. It happened just after 8.15 Wednesday morning. Crews were called to this access point along Alton Carolina Road for a report of a large brush fire burning. The entry leads to a gravel site about a half a mile in, but that brush fire was burning even further. They let out about 3,000 feet of forestry hose to get to the fire. Firefighters used several ATVs to get close to the fire. Their tanker trucks could only go as far as the trails would let them. Access and locating the fire was difficult at first, trying to find the best way in. It's a heavily wooded area with no homes or businesses nearby. In the southwest corner, there couldn't be any farther away from the homes that are along this road that we're working off of now. The fire forcing Amtrak to pause service so firefighters could get where they needed to go. Amtrak has been helpful with trying to uh, you know, hold the trains and get equipment on the rail to, to get to the fire. About 10 acres total is believed to have been burned. Fortunately, no one was injured. The firefighters on the line have been working really hard. With all the recent rain we've had in southern New England, a brush fire may seem out of the ordinary, but both fire chiefs say current conditions still pose a risk. It's weather dependent and, um, you know, if, if it's dry, we, we have fire. And both fire chiefs say it could happen again. With the uh, increased intensity of the sun and with wind, it dries out the top layer very quickly. Uh, this time of year, it doesn't burn deep, but it'll burn quick across the top. We've had windy days. It only takes a couple of days of drying and you're right back in the fire season. Now, Charlestown's fire chief tells me they've been here before literally about two years ago in that same spot, but a little bit further west. Another brush fire happened, that one claiming about three acres of land. Live in Charlestown tonight, Sam Reed, NBC 10 News.